Assalamualaikum and have a good day to my lecturer and for those who watch this video. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Anis Hanani binti Muhammad Rizalman. I am from RBA 2433B and today I am going to talk what I have been reading relating to this assignment which is a journal article titled um, The Effects and Challenges of Vocation Training in Korea by Eunbi Song, Jong Wali and Jong Suk Han. For your information, I am going to talk about the journal article The Effects and Challenges of Vocation Training in Korea by Jong Wali, Jong Suk Han and Eun Bi Song. It examines the impact and obstacles associated with vocation training programs in South Korea. The authors delve into the various aspects of vocation training and its effects on employment outcomes, skills, skills development and wage differentials. The authors first highlight the positive impact of vocation training on employment prospects in South Korea. They emphasize that individuals participating in vocation training programs have higher employment rates and are more likely to secure jobs aligning with their acquired skills. This positive association is particularly significant for individuals with lower education and attainment who benefit from developing specific vocational skills. First of all, what is training and development? Training and development refer to the processes and activities aimed at improving individuals' knowledge, skills, abilities and competencies within an organization. It involves systemic efforts to enhance employees' performance, productivity and effectiveness in their current or future position. The main issue highlighted in the article is the societal bias towards academic education in Korea. This bias refers to uh, prevailing beliefs and preferences for traditional academic pathways such as university degrees or vocational education. This bias poses several challenges to vocational training in Korea. First, it creates a negative perception of vocational training among students, parents and employers. Many individuals and their family uh, view academic education as the only path to success and social status while considering vocational training as a lesser option. As a result, a stigma attached to the vocational education discourages uh, potential students from pursuing vocational training programs. So, um, in conclusion, the societal bias towards academic education poses a significant challenge to vocational training in Korea. Overcoming this bias uh, requires a comprehensive approach that includes uh, changing societal attitudes, promoting the value of vocational skills, and implementing policies that foster inclusivity and equal access to vocational education. Let's move to the solutions. To overcome the issues associated with the societal bias toward academic education and improve the effectiveness of vocational training, several strategies can be implemented. First, raising awareness and changing perceptions. Effort, efforts should be made to promote the value and benefits of vocational education. This can include awareness campaigns, showcasing success stories of individuals who have pursued of vocational training and achieved successful careers and highlighting the practical skills and jobs prospect offered by vocations, vocational programs. Second, Expanding vocational training opportunities By increasing the availability and accessibility of vocational training programs is crucial. This can involve with developing vocational education options in schools, providing more vocational training centers, and offering flexible learning pathways to accommodate um, different individuals' needs and circumstances. Next, emphasizing continuous skill development. Given the rapid pace of technological advancements, Vocational training programs should prioritize continuous skills development, providing opportunities for lifelong learning, upskilling and reskilling can help individuals stay competitive in the evolving job market. The last one, strengthening partnerships between educational institutions and industries. 
collaboration between vocational training providers and industries is vital. Close ties with employers can help align vocational programs with the job market's needs, ensuring that the skills taught are relevant and in demand. This can be achieved through internships, apprenticeships, and work in integrated learning opportunities. By implementing these strategies, it is possible to overcome the issues associated with bias towards academic education and enhance the effectiveness and recognition of vocational training in Korea. In addition, these efforts can lead to improved employment outcomes, reduced skill mismatches, and a more inclusive and balanced education system. In conclusion, overcoming the issues associated with the bias towards uh, academic education requires a multifaceted approach that addresses societal perceptions, promotes the value of vocational training, and ensures equal access and inclusivity. By raising awareness, changing perceptions, and enhancing the status of vocational education, individuals, families, and employers can recognize and appreciate the value and benefits of vocational training. Furthermore, emphasizing continuous skills development and lifelong learning within vocational training programs is vital to adapt to technological advancements and changing job requirements, providing support and resources for individuals to upskill and reskill throughout their careers will enable them to remain competitive in the ever-evolving economy. Implementing these measures can overcome the bias towards academic education and create a more balanced, inclusive and effective education system that values vocation training. This will not only benefit individuals by providing them with practical skills and better employment opportunities, but also contribute to the country's overall economic growth and development. That's all from me. Thank you for listening.